As a small business owner, I am always looking for new ways to generate leads. I've seen lead magnet quizzes on several different websites, and I've heard from a lot of people that they're really effective in generating leads and helping you to grow your email list. So when Interact reached out to us and asked if we wanted to try out their platform, I got super excited. Interact is an online platform that allows you to create quizzes that you can use to generate leads, recommend specific products, or grow your email list. They have integrations with all of the major email marketing CRMs, making it super easy to add those contacts to whatever you're already using. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create an Interact quiz that you can add to your website so you can start generating leads. When you log into Interact, this is where you're taken. You can see all of the quizzes that you've created. I've created one quiz so far, and from here, I can edit that quiz by clicking here. I can get my share or embed code so I can place it on my website, or I can check analytics. If I want to create a new quiz, I just need to click this button up here that says create new quiz. The hardest part for me in creating the quiz was coming up with the questions. I think that's something that probably a lot of people struggle with. What questions should I add to my quiz? How many questions? What format should they be in? I really struggled with that. What makes this a, such a great platform, in my opinion, is that they give you all of these templates that you can use to kind of get ideas for the type of questions that maybe you could ask. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different industries that they have available. So you can pick one that works for you and maybe go from there. So if I picked like branding and design, for example, there are a lot of different branding and design templates that are available and they already have the questions in there written so you can maybe change those out to fit your needs or add some new ones or just get ideas for the type of questions that you could add in your quiz. So I thought that this was super helpful and I actually used one of these templates in creating my quiz just to get the format and everything the way that I wanted it to look. And I went in and edited out the questions to the questions that I thought were best for my quiz. So if you are struggling with coming up with questions, I think that this is a good way to go. Maybe just start with one of the templates, see how they do things and kind of go from there. I've opened up the editor so we can go through what that looks like. One thing that I really liked was globally, you can change your quiz colors. So I've added our brand colors throughout the quiz by changing these options up here. I also had the ability to change the font to the font that we use in our branding. So I thought that was a really nice feature. You can change out the images as well. They have the option to do that really easily. So I'm just going to show you how that's done by editing this cover image. You can see you can change the cropping of it and you can replace the image altogether by clicking this here. And what I thought was cool was they had the ability to search for images on Unsplash or search for GIFs through Giphy. So thought that was really cool. If you don't have branded photos, you can definitely take advantage of those options. But you have the option to upload your own image or link from a URL. So cool feature in that. Let's go to the questions because I thought this was really cool as well. I liked how easy it was to add questions or delete questions. You can also change the order by dragging and dropping. Uh, one thing that I was a little bit worried about was the way you score things because I know that if somebody picked a certain answer, it should lead them to get a certain result at the end. And I didn't know how that process was really going to work, but it actually was pretty easy. If I go to edit result correlations, you can see that I have my answers here and then I have my results here and you can see what correlates to what results. So I thought that was really intuitive, really easy to follow. And I was definitely worried that I was going to do something wrong when I was creating my quiz, but I found it pretty easy to follow. They also have a scoring system available if you want to get a little more technical. Uh, that I also thought was easy. I played around with that as well. 
for the purposes of my quiz, I just wanted to really give three possible results. So this worked really well for me, but play around with the different options for your quiz and figure out what works best for you. But definitely thought that this was really easy to follow. Uh, so you can see here that the answers go directly to the results, but if I change out any of these as far as the order is concerned, like if I just move that up here and then went to edit result correlations again, it automatically changes everything for you so you can see how the results are different. So I really liked that feature that it did it for you automatically. You didn't have to go into edit result correlations and change those. It already does it for you. I thought that was a really nice feature as well. After I added my questions to the quiz, the next step was to add the results. I have three different result options that somebody could get to after they take the quiz. This is the first option, which says you're doing great, which means that your website doesn't need to be upgraded. The second one is you're on the right path, which means that you need to make some tweaks or improvements. And the third option is, yes, you do need to upgrade your website. For all three of these, I added a custom title, a custom image, some text underneath that image, and a call to action button. It was really easy to change these out. You just click on URL, you change it to whatever page you want it to link to, and you hit save. One of the things that I wasn't sure about was whether or not I was going to be able to change this per result, but you can. So for these two, time for an upgrade and you're on the right path, I have it linking to our contact form. But this first result, I just have it linking to our resource center. So I really liked that you had the ability to change these out dependent on what result somebody got. After I set up my results, the next step was to set up the lead generation portion, which would take the contacts and add them to my MailerLite list. MailerLite is what we use for our email marketing CRM, but they have integrations with all of the popular email marketing platforms. So whatever you're using, they probably have an integration that works. You can see here, if we scroll down a bit, this is what the form actually looks like on the quiz. So this is what they see before they get the results. They have to put in their first name and their email and then click see my results in order to get the results that I've uh, talked about above. After you set that up, you connect your CRM to interact. This was really easy for me to do. I just had to add my API key from MailerLite into interact and just map the fields. Uh, super easy. I already created my API key because I use it in the past, but if you're not sure how to do this, I've actually made a few videos on how to do this in MailerLite. Uh, Interact also has documentation for all of the different email marketing platforms on how to set up these integrations, so you're definitely covered with that. If I go to save and continue here, you can see that I have the triggers set up to add it to the subscriber group, which is my email list. So it was really easy to get this all set up and you can see for each result, it does the same thing. If we go to save and continue, you can see you can also do this for the answers as well. I just did it so that it was added once people completed the entire quiz, but dependent on what you're doing with your quiz, you might want to add it to the different uh, answers as well. You also have the option to activate unsubscribed recipients. So if people unsubscribe to your list, they take the quiz and they resubscribe, they can also be added to the list as well. The last step is to map the field. So I just needed to make sure that the email address and first name were going into uh, the email field and the name in MailerLite. So super easy to get that set up as well. Overall, I found this whole process to be pretty easy to follow. Once you're done with all of that, you do have the ability to test your integration. If you click this button, you can put in your email and your name and show the quiz result in here. And you just want to make sure that 
whatever you're putting in gets added to your email marketing list. So I like that they had this feature to test it out to make sure that it was working. You also have the ability to add some social share settings to your quiz. I have it set up where people can share their results on Facebook or Twitter. You don't have to have this set up if you don't want to. You can hide the buttons. Uh, you can also add some different social share links in here, different images, add different headings and some different text as well. So there's a lot of different options for the social share settings. If that's something that you want to set up, this is a good way to promote your quiz. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is conversion tracking. If you want to set up a Facebook pixel or Google analytics tracking, that's something that you can do as well. And it just adds some code to uh, your quiz in order to track it in these two platforms. Once you're finished editing your quiz, it's time to embed it onto your website. And they make that really easy to do. You'll just click here where it says share and embed, and you want to make sure that you've published your changes. And then from here, you have a few different options. You can copy this share link, which you could use very easily. You could add this by adding a button to your website that links to the direct page on Interact, or you could put it on social media platforms as well. You could do an embed code, which is what I did. I use the JavaScript embed code for my page, but you can do an iframe or you could do a WordPress plugin if you run your site on WordPress. I didn't feel the need to install the plugin, even though my site is built on WordPress. I just thought it would be easier to use the JavaScript code. Uh, but if you think that the WordPress plugin is better suited for your website, go for it. It's a free plugin to install and it works pretty well. Uh, I just copied the JavaScript code for my page and you also do have the ability to do some embed options. You can auto resize it to fit the quiz content, which is something that I checked on because I didn't want it to be one standard size. I wanted it to expand or contract depending on how long the text was in the question. So I had that on. You can also do a custom embed size. You can open the quiz in a new tab on mobile devices, or you can disable the cover page if you wanna do that as well. So you have a few options available for embedding. So I copied this code and I just added it to a page that I created on my website, which is right here. I just added that into an HTML widget in Elementor. It worked great. It uploaded the quiz very easily to my site and that's what it looks like now. So people can go through and take this quiz no problem. Let me just go back to Interact to discuss a couple more options that they have available. So you can do an announcement bar, which is kind of like a banner that you can place uh, at the top of your website. That's an option and you can add this code to your website. This is kind of more of like in a developer thing. Um, so if you're not really familiar with how to code, this might not be the best option for you, or you could email it to your developer. They have an option to do that as well. You can also create a pop-up if you wanted to use a pop-up on your site. Since I'm using Elementor, I could easily use the Elementor pop-up and just use the embed code that they provide. So that's another option as well. But if you're not using Elementor, you're using another service to build your website, this could be a good option if you want the quiz to be a pop-up. They also have a Facebook ad option. So you can create an entire ad through Facebook with your quiz in it. So I thought that this was really great in terms of the amount of options you have for sharing and promoting your quiz. There's really something for everyone here. After I embedded the quiz onto the new page, I just went to my web design page and created a call to action, which you can see right here, that links to the quiz. So we have our heading, some text, and then a button that says take the quiz. If we click on that, it will go directly to the page with my quiz on it and people can take the quiz from there. 
We've just published our quiz, so I definitely want to give it a few more days before I go in and check analytics to see how effective it is as a lead generation tool. But I already see that people are viewing the quiz, so that's a good sign. I definitely think this will be beneficial to us and also to a lot of our clients. I could see a lot of our clients adding something like this to their own websites as a lean generation tool. If you want to take our quiz, I'll leave a link to it down below and you can take that to see if it's time to upgrade your website. And if you'd like to try Interact yourself, I'll leave our affiliate link down below as well so you can try it out yourself and hopefully it works great for you. Thank you again to Interact for your generous gift and I'll see you next time.